what is payment system it is the mechanism using which monetary or financial transaction is completed for example if you are purchasing vegetables of 30 rupees today there are multiple ways to pay 30 rupees to the vegetable vendors like by cash or by upi using qr code so cash is one of the payment system and upi is another payment system as per world bank definition payment and settlement systems are mechanisms established to facilitate the clearing and settlement of monetary and other financial transaction there are two categories in the payment system one is the large value payment system and second one is retail payment systems our focus will be on retail payment systems globally there are multiple retail payment systems and instruments these systems and instruments are designed and developed based on customer needs in the economy some of the global retail payment systems are check clearing systems automated clearing house or ach fast payment systems or fps payment card systems this and subsequent videos we will talk about fast payment systems and payment card systems for better understanding we will start with payment card systems how it in general works payment card systems work in cic mapi model that is sigma p model c stands for the customers whom card is issued and uses the card for payments i stand for issuer bank p stand for payment network a stand for acquiring bank m stand for merchant the whole system is regulated by regulating authority in india it's rbi the reserve bank of india all the payment systems in india must comply with master directions circular or notifications issued by rbi for example storage of payment system data the entire data relating to payment systems must be stored in a system only in india this data should include the full end to end transactions details information collected carried processed as part of the messages or payment instruction for cross border transaction data consisting of a foreign component and a domestic component a copy of the domestic component may also be stored abroad if required in our video we will touch on directions of various regulators related to payment systems let's come to our current topic which is sigma p model customer of a bank applies for the issuance of the card the bank which is the issuer bank does due diligence and issues the card or rejects the application The card issued to the customer contains various details which we'll discuss some point later. Once card is issued and activated, the card holder can use it to purchase goods or services at a supporting merchant. The card holder submits the card detail and transaction amount on merchant interface. The interface could be POS terminal, website or ATM. The interface does some validation. After successful validation at the merchant interface, the card and transaction details from merchant interface is passed to the acquiring bank the acquiring bank sends the detail to the payment network the payment network identifies the issuer bank who has issued the card the issuer bank is identified based on bin number the payment network sends the detail to issuer bank issuer bank validates the transaction detail and send the success or rejection message back to the payment network Payment network pass the message to acquirer bank. Acquirer bank pass the message to the merchant. If merchant receives the success message, then the request goods or the services are provided to be the card holder. Now end to end card transaction cycle in Sigma P model is completed. In this video we have used multiple terminologies related to payment systems. We will cover these terminologies and data element of card and transactions in upcoming video. Do like and subscribe the channel and suggest topics that we should cover in next videos. Goodbye for now.